Are you struggling to automate task distribution when you run campaigns? In today's video, I'm going to show you a new powerful tool from Microworkers, Advanced Maximum Positions Per Day feature with Scheduler which will make your task scheduling a breeze. Let's begin! Here we have a submitted TTV campaign with 50 positions awaiting approval. Max Pause Per Day feature only appears after you submit a TTV campaign. If Max Pause Per Day is disabled, all my 50 positions will be displayed instantly upon admin's approval. But now if we click here, we can start setting up a schedule. Basic is the simplest setting. First, enter here max number of positions per day, which is 10. Second, you choose between random and ASAP. In random, there will be no pattern as to when your positions will be displayed. For ASAP, Positions will be displayed at the beginning of the day following New York time. Finally, click Save. And you're back to your campaigns page, showing that only 10 posts per day is displayed daily until all positions are filled. Sure! First, choose the standard option. I want to show only 10 positions per day. You can also set how many positions to display each hour, but that's optional. Select either random or ASAP, and I prefer one position per worker. You can also pick a specific time zone for your campaign. Once you're done, save this setup as a new template by giving it a label and clicking Save. Back on the campaign page, click the pen icon to view your saved standard template. You can delete it if needed or choose from these three options. 24-7. Your campaign runs all day, every day. Business Hours. You can pick any or all weekdays and set specific times for your campaign to run. Weekends. Select any or all weekend days and your campaign will run all day on those days. Yes, this is called a one-time event set up under advanced option. Enter 20 for max number of pause per day. This is month view. When you click on a date, this is what it looks like. What if I want to choose different time per day? Click on week or day view. Click on a date. Since this is a one-time event, start and end dates are the same. Now set the start and end time. Enter the number of positions available per hour. Then save. Let's select a different date. Careful that your time do not overlap, otherwise you won't be able to save your setup. You can click here to see the day view. List view and view by month. If you think everything is set correctly, click save. Definitely, click on recurring tab. Enter start date and end date for your campaign. Enter start time and end time. This means my campaign will be displayed from November 3 to November 9 from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m every day of the week until all positions are filled. Assuming that all 10 positions per day are completed, then my calendar will look like this. Now, if you want to select days within recurring dates, just click on specific weekdays and tick the days you prefer. Enter max pause per day and max pause per hour, then save. Here's what it looks like. If you don't like to run the campaign the entire day, just click the event to remove it. Click yes, then click on a preferred R. Click on Recurring tab. Enter Start Time and End Time. Don't forget to enter max pause per day so you can save and proceed with your campaign submission. And save. That's it! If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.